she says that she seems to become more symptomatic when she gets run down, when she's done run too down. much. And yep. is there something that she can do to prevent this? Very common problem. Very common. I mean, I suppose one of the difficult things there is that fatigue and being run down is a very core symptom for the majority of people with FND. I sometimes meet people with FND who haven't got fatigue, but I would say 90% have some form of fatigue and many have incapacitating fatigue. So you could say that fatigue is not being run down. It's not part of the definition of FND, but I think it's part of the disorder really. Um, if you're run down because you have the flu or for some other, or you're sleep deprived for some other reason, well, your brain doesn't work as well when you're sleep deprived or if you have the flu or if you're feeling low. Um, we know that from all sorts of studies. So it's not, if you have a disorder where your brain and nervous system are already not working and then something else comes along to knock it, well, it's going to be worse. I think the, the, one of the answers to that, one of the things to really think hard about there is if, is if you are getting run down is are you sort of doing a sort of boom and bust type of thing where one day you do have a bit of energy and because you've been ill, you, you want to catch up with all the things you haven't done and then you overdo it and then you feel terrible and run down that day or the next day. That's, that's very common. Um, learning to sort of balance out that, uh, those boom and bust is, is, is a, can be a very helpful way of beginning to manage feeling run down. Easier said than done though. By all means.